I'm going to share with you how cheap and simple to transfer the immobilizer data from the factory broken module to junkyard replacement one and get your Dodge Chrysler Jeep back on the road. EEPROM chip programming made it easy, cheap and simple to follow. Let's get started. We have an original immobilizer module, aka Scream, removed from the vandalized minivan and it has a broken antenna, but it still has a important data which we need to copy and transfer to the replacement one. And it's pretty simple and all that recorded and saved into that EPRON chip. And here we go, this is a replacement part which I got from the junkyard for five bucks, pretty cheap, but it has a different data saved to that EPRON chip and we just need to transfer all data to the correct replacement module. Let's find the right replacement part for your vehicle and you have to pay attention to FCC ID number and IC number. There should be the same and also pay attention to the frequencies. It could be 125 kilohertz or 134 kilohertz. If you will use a different type of module it just won't work you need to find the exactly the same module as you can see this one is 134 kilohertz and mine is 125 kilohertz that's important check that FCC ID and IC number and compare okay next I'm using just toothpick and I'm going to clean the weather sealant on my e-prone chip connections and as you can see in between those pin legs we have some weather sealant just clean that make sure our EPRON clamp will fit firmly on the contact points EPRON chip is very easy to identify it has eight legs as you can see where it's located by the way if this video is helpful thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for doing that okay i'm going to use the x tool this is a x100 pro 2 you can use this tool for programming keys very helpful very useful tool this is not sponsored video i like to share what i'm using and this only costs the small fraction of the quoted price from the dealer or locksmith Okay, I'm having EPRON adapter with the EPRON cable and clamp. Those ones I got separately and I put all information to my tools down in the description. Check it out. This is our EPRON chip and now we're identifying the numbers and series of that chip and where is the first leg. And first leg should be connected to the first pin on the clamp and that represented by the red wire and you will see the small dingle on a chip around the first leg okay we clean our sealant and now we should have a good connection good grip and get access to our pin data those plastic parts of the clamp will go in between those pin legs and grip there and then we'll have a metal on metal good contact with the chip legs let's do it open the clamp push it in and let it close it should get connected try it several times you will get it and don't move it make sure that clamp won't get loose now we're going to our EPRON function and using the X tool all right go to EPRON then go and read pin code on this original immobilizer module we're working on Dodge which is Chrysler we're going to choose the Chrysler and we're picking the immobilizer ECU 95 or 80 can be different in your situation but that is mine you can get information on a chip and there's a pin code number that's what you need to for programming key fobs immobilizers or even just write a new key let's write that number down on a piece of paper 
and that data from the original EEPROM chip processor will be transferred to our John QR replacement screen module which we got for five dollars you don't have to replace ECUs, cut a keys, do any programming that just only one simple things okay let's go to EEPROM program function let's choose our series a series of your chip you can find on top of that EEPROM chip and we have 95 or 40 let's go to read EEPROM data function next as you can see on the screen all right let's choose that and create a file that data from the EEPROM chip will be saved to our X tool and that's simply that save the file create a name 04 caravan and files are successfully created and we have file saved to our tool all right that's the first step good and next we have to go and write that file to our replacement module this one but we have to prepare that one for get data transferred all right as you can see I marked where I have to cut to get access to the EEPROM chip it's on the bottom of the module I will just cut the slot and get just enough room to connect my clamp pretty simple pretty easy and uh, yeah you will need to do the same thing if you have any comments critics questions suggestions put them down in the comment section below will be interesting to read okay now we have access to our EEPROM chip that part I will glue it later and put electrical tape make sure moisture won't get to the circuit board now we have access to our EEPROM chip this module will carry our original pin data and will save it to that EEPROM chip 8 legs on that chip let's do the same do the cleanup clean that weather sealant which is can be and all specs and data written on top of the chip and identify the first leg and same way we have to connect our EEPROM clamp with a harness let's go to EEPROM function we're using the X tool go to read pin code and Dodge Caravan is a Chrysler go into Chrysler and then we're going to immobilize our ECU we're picking the right one it can try different ones depends on the model and year and here's our pin code which is different 9167 and that's what's saved to the John Kurt module now we're going to EEPROM program and choose a 95C series type of chip and go to 95 or 40 and then we're going to write EEPROM data because we have files saved to our X tool now we pressed OK we're choosing our file 04 caravan and now the tool is asking are we going to save yes write in data and as you can see writing data is in process write data successfully that's it we have data from our module saved to the replacement John QR1 and, and now we can go back to the main menu and uh, that should be good to go and install on the vehicle this broken one came from the factory with the vehicle and data was copied to the tool and then we saved the EEPROM immobilizer data to the replacement part let's go and read the code of that John Art module and we have our 0680 which was on original module that's simple guys and it only cost me a small fraction of the asked quoted price 
All right, I'm going to install the module. I will tape it temporarily and then we'll silicone and see if it works. Okay, I have my scream module in place. Let's connect the electrical connector and then we're going to connect battery and uh, let's go start it. And first turn the key to the on position and pay attention to that immobilizer security light. All right, keys on and light is out. ECU is happy. Here we go. Vehicle started. And yeah. Engine is running. Guys, that's it. Simply that. I'm so happy. I'm able to share with you. And if you have a Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, that's will be pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, thumbs up if it was helpful or informational. And that's it for today and I have more videos coming how to do keys programming. Thank you so much for your time watching this video. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.